Hi everyone, my name is Fianna Nicolle and I'm a harp player from County Limerick. Um, I've recently released my first harp CD called Dahna on Keol, which translates to the colours of music. And I'm going to play two pieces. The first is a slower composed by Sean Potts called uh, Quivna on Pibra. And I'm going to follow it by an O'Carlin tune called The Lady Letitia Burke. The Queen of Impeber, what does that mean? So it's in memory of a piper. Lovely, okay. So, um, which I believe he composed for his dad. Oh, yeah. Then.
beautiful. It's real spellbinding stuff. Thank and the little you. slip makes makes me feel as if you are mortal like all of us. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone has us. I'm so. sure we, we'll forgive you for that. Um, whenever I think of harp or whenever I hear harp, it's just, it's probably one of the most evocative instruments. It's real heart tugging stuff, especially with slow airs. Yeah, slow airs are, as I said, definitely one of my uh, absolute favourite things uh, to do and when played well, you know, they can really tell the story. Um, and uh, with that slow air, uh, I was lucky enough to get permission to record it on my CD. So. Lovely, and that was in memory of, what did you say? Um, in memory of a piper is the name, so um, Sean Pott um, composed it for, for his dad. Lovely. Um, so when they moved to Dublin, he kind of brought a wealth of uh, kind of music and tradition to the area. So. Right, was it number six? Was it the number of the house up there? Wherever? Yeah. yeah, okay, I remember the, uh, an album title of it. Yeah. Look, I've seen you around at harp festivals or just harp events around the country and the thing that I remark most of all is the fact that the passion for the instrument just exudes out of you. Yeah, no, I'm, since I started playing the harp I kind of knew it was the instrument for me and I've kind of loved, um, loved doing it ever, ever since I haven't stopped. <laughs> right, okay, and what, when did you start? What age? So I started when I was 10 years old um, in the School of Music in in Limerick, in Limerick with uh, Janet Harps and yeah. Right and where did it progress from there? So um, in 2002 Janet opened up the Harps Centre in Castle, in Castle Connell, Connell, Connell so right. I moved out to, because I'm from Castle Connell myself as well so it was very Fortunate. convenient yeah, for us. <laughs> um, so I studied there with her and after that I went on to study music in university so I had um, tuition from people like Holly Garrity and oh, master classes you know with Michael Rooney and some of the, the oh really my great God, names yeah. of harping so I've been right. very very fortunate to have all those kind of different sure. influences and I did a year um, in Newcastle University where I had more in the Cossack, more in the Cossack, so Cossack lives been, up there yeah wow. so fortunate with the tuition I've managed okay. to get and now I've kind of moved into yeah. uh, the professional realm myself as well right so. and you're working kind of more or less full-time as being a harper is it harpist or harper I think harper har I think is, harper um, yeah right. for traditional music because a lot of people think it's Gendered, it's a harpist sure. would be a man and harpist would be a yeah, woman. Yeah. So I think harpist is classical and harper would a be harper, traditional. A okay. harper, yeah. Right, so you're a peasant harper, are <laughs> That's you? That's it, yeah. <laughs> We've all in under that. Yeah. Now, it's it's a pretty international instrument as well, and I found that uh, my, my ignorance was 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 displayed, was exposed up in Eccle. Mm -hmm. There was a harp festival the first time in Eccle, organised by, who Misha was it? Kelly, yeah. And there were harpers from all over the world. Yeah, so it was great to see the diversity of the different harps. So they, I think they had um, people from Scotland, Galicia, Paraguay, Paraguay and right. um, a lot of different places. So you could see how the different instrument developed in the different countries and the different styles and techniques of playing yeah. the repertoire. So it was okay. very special, yeah. All right. Now, what, what beckons in 2017 for you? Anything special, any special travels or...? Um, so I have I go over to the Irish Centre in Newcastle, uh, Pontine every year. Um, I have a connection going on with them since I kind of moved over to study there in two thousand and eleven. So um, we do a kind of a caroling evening um, once a year for the last two years. So it's caroling by candlelight to oh, nice. provide entertainment. All right. And what venue is that? Is it? Uh, so it's the Tyneside Irish Centre oh, in Newcastle, okay. Pontine. Yeah. Now talking about caroling. Uh, I love his slow airs and my favourite slow air of Carolyn would be, I think Mabel Kelly, if it is a slow air, I think it's slow anyway, so it qualifies <laughs> in my mind. What's your favourite slow air? Um, I was saying I love Blind Mare, but there's so many of them, the Farewell to Music is spectacular Farewell to music. as well. When uh, that called. was a title recently now given to Tony McMahon's last album. Oh, really? Tony McMahon, Farewell to Music, because oh. he, his music is finished now with whatever ailment he has. Yeah. So, you know, brings back the... Carolyn's farewell to music, yeah, and that absolutely. that harp was a harbinger of his death, the reason pending death was it. Yeah, I think they said he composed it on his uh, yeah deathbed. You oh know, right. he, had his, he liked his whiskey and everything. And <laughs> this was apparently the last piece that he composed. Amazing and so death. powerful as well. Yeah, absolutely. Fina, listen, great to have you here. Good meal about got us with Octan Shaw or us Octavian Shaw Ling. Okay, I guess Gunari let the Sanofli in. Good morning.